How's it going, everyone? This is Brad Williams with Over 40 Fitness Hacks. I've got uh, my season co-star with me as Kirk McCarley. How's it going, Kirk? It's going well, Brad. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so uh, Kirk uh, brought him on. He's got a wealth of knowledge. Uh, he's a, a former HR consultant uh, for the past 30 years. Uh, he's got a couple injury stories as well as he's written a, a book, I guess. And um, currently, he is a uh, career coach and life coach as well. So why don't you uh, kind of give our, our audience a little overview of your life, Kirk? <laughs> well, Brad, I wish I'd have written a book, but I've written enough blogs that I could put together a book. I was doing a count at my website the other day, and it's like 72 blogs. And I said to myself, you either need to get uh, write a book or get a life. So... Uh, <laughs> Or hire someone to take all those hire, and make one. <laughs> or hire somebody that could do that. Um, anyway, I'll tell just uh, briefly about my story. Uh, native Texan, I'm 64 years young. So I have a mathematical mind, as some of our listeners will tune in on that uh, after a while. So I like to say not 64, but two to the sixth power. Uh, that sounds a lot younger, so I'll go with that. So grew up in Texas, uh, went to school there, met my wife at a fraternity party uh, 43 years ago almost now, and we've been married for 41 years. I definitely outkicked my coverage with her <laughs> and spent the early portion of my working career in HR and stayed in Texas till about... 20 years ago, job opportunity came up in St. Louis, took it there, spent 16 years in the Midwest, became an avid Cardinal fan and still am. And opportunity uh, rose uh, when I was about 57 to 58 and wanted to kind of redirect things just a little bit. What am I going to do with the rest of my life? So I hired a coach myself at that point. And through working with him, came to the conclusion that, hey, I want to be a coach someday. I signed up. I went back to school. I got educated, got accredited. And here I am, and as a transplanted now Midwesterner, living in Northwest Florida and just enjoying the dream of doing coaching and continuing to do some work with ESPN, teaching spinning classes and just having a ball and a blast busier than I've ever been. Yeah, so you're a coach in several different uh, modalities, it seems. Uh, what's, how's the ESPN one play? ESPN, I've had an affiliation with them now or with uh, helping with the production of college football and now other college sports on radio and television for 32 years now. So another exponential number, two to the fourth power. And that came about more or less as a youth. I had a, again, a kind of a predilection towards math and got involved in sports myself and the statistical and mathematical aspect of it just fascinated me. And I became adept at calculating numbers and what purpose did it serve? Not too much unless you happen to get, be fortunate enough and room in college with a broadcast communications major who went on to work for ESPN. So that's how I got involved in that. He's doing some other things now, but I've stuck with the worldwide leader in sports and it's generationally turned over because the guy yeah. I'm doing stats for now um, is half my age. So <laughs> I'm helping a new generation uh, get their footprint and get established, which is just a blast. Awesome. Um, and then your other avenue of uh, career coaching and life coaching, do you, what, how do you see a split of that? Is there more people you're getting on one side versus the other? Or is it kind of combined go together? Originally, Brad, I started out, what is my coaching niche going to be? Who am I going to focus on? And it was a combination of two seemingly out of parallel target groups, one being folks such as myself, uh, late in career, but not really so much focused on retirement, but what is going to happen next? What's going to be the self-actualization component of not only career, but life that was going to be achieved? So that was fascinating to me. But also, younger people 
who are coming out of school or just recently graduated and gee, I'm not really sure I'm enjoying what I'm doing and how can I redirect that? So focused on individuals such as that. I've worked with those groups, but who do I end up with really in reality? It's those and everything in between from all walks of life, all ages, even nationalities, races, ethnic groups, uh, sex, it runs the gamut. And that's what's made this so interesting and so rich is getting to work with and help people reach their dreams, all kinds of uh, uh, strata of, of folks that are out there. Yeah. I'm, uh, we were talking briefly yesterday and uh, I remember telling you, you know, I'm part of a network group over here in Orange County and I always wanted to get a life coach in our group just because I thought that, you know, maybe they're people who are getting separated or they're, they're hitting 40 or 50 and they're having that over the hill. I need to get myself together. And, you know, you know, first thing you think of is fitness. So I always thought that would be a, a great addition to our network group. Um, how, how often does that play out in any of your uh, people that contact you, work with you? Just, just fitness related. Well, what I find is that in career coaching, which is really what I try to focus on, executive career coaching specifically, life always spills into that as well. And with life comes all aspects of it. Finances, relationships, uh, spiritual uh, influence, and of course, health uh, blends into that as well. So oftentimes you'll run across a career client that, hey, I could drop 20 or 30 pounds. What should I do to pursue that? And so that becomes the topic of a meeting that we'll have is what are your obstacles to that now? What do you need to have happen to overcome those obstacles? And then setting goals, much like you would do as a personal trainer. How much do you want to lose? Uh, How much muscle mass would you like to build up and what are you prepared to do in order to achieve that? And then the meeting is off to the races and what I represent is an accountability partner who may very well say, you know, a person like Brad Williams could really help you with this. And that's how we partner with each other. Yeah. See, that's different than what I thought would be for what I was looking for. But now that you say that, that does make sense. Helping high level executives, one that can afford your services. And that is a a big thing that could benefit them and help them, you know, you know, their health, their wellness, everything. That's all aspects of trying to move up in their career path too. So that's cool that you said that. It's interesting. The overlap of multiple occupations as I have, I'm also a group exercise instructor myself, spinning instructor. And after a vigorous 60 minute workout and everybody's endorphins are kicked in, there'll maybe be a soul who will come up to me and talk about a technique that we used and come to find out, gee, I hate my job right now and I really would like to find something else. And then we're off to the races in, 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 in another area of life and talking about engaging as a coach client uh, oftentimes through that. Awesome. Yeah, with all this stuff uh, that you've kind of lateraled into over the years, I feel like I've done nothing with my life. <laughs> maybe, I need, maybe I need you as a career coach. <laughs> I'm a lot older than you are, Brad, and, 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 and sometimes I find that I'm the kitten who's chasing one ball of yarn, and then another one is seen out of the corner of the eye, and let me go pursue that now. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like everybody else. I'm trying to figure out what to do and how to do it well and just happen to be blessed to be involved in a lot of different things. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I started the, this show, Over 40 Fitness Hacks, is, you know, I'm finally turning 40, and, I'm, you know, my audience, and I'm pretty much getting that audience, you know, 40, 50 years old. But also, you know, I want the 20 and 30 year olds to hear my story as well. Like if I could go back in time, this is what I would do differently, fitness wise, health wise, injury prevention. So I almost need to talk to more of them, you know, besides just the the over 40 crowd. So I hear you on that, but that that makes me feel better too, that I've got 20 20 plus years to get my act together to get in in line with you. (laughs) 
<laughs> and I hope I have another 20 that I can get my act together as well. So sounds, sounds, sounds like you're on the right crazy. path. So. <laughs> well, cool. Uh, well, just that, I think that'd be a good episode just to get a brief overview. Um, let my audience meet you. And uh, we usually do about five uh, episodes. So um, we'll catch you on the next one. But just real quickly, uh, Kirk, how, how can people get, get a hold of you? Do you have a website, a social media? T t tell them what you're kind of looking for. I, I do. I am the seed sower coach and it'll further episode. Hopefully I have the opportunity to divulge a little bit about the development of that as a, a label, but seed sower coach.com is my website. Uh, email address is Kirk K I R K at the seed sower coach.com and phone number with the St. Louis area code three, one, four, six, seven, seven, eight, seven, seven, nine. I'm active on Facebook under the seed sower coach, as well as I have a LinkedIn site. Exactly. And that's, I've found you on LinkedIn as well. And uh, I'll put everything in the episode details. Um, so the audience can just go to the details and click the links and find you. So <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks uh, Kirk for uh, jumping on with me and we'll, we'll do uh, many more together and, and I uh, hope everyone enjoyed listening. But thanks for uh, doing this with me. I'll see you in the next act. All right. But just real quickly, uh, Kirk, how, how can people get, get a hold of you? Do you have a website, a social media? T t tell them what you're kind of looking for. I, I do. I am the seed sower coach. And in a further episode, hopefully I have the opportunity to divulge a little bit about the development of that as a, a label, but seedsowercoach.com is my website. Uh, email address is Kirk, K-I-R-K, at the seedsowercoach.com and phone number with the St. Louis area code 314-677-8779. I'm active on Facebook under the Seed Sower Coach as well as I have a LinkedIn site. Exactly. And that's, I found you on LinkedIn as well. And uh, I'll put everything in the episode details um, so the audience can just go to the details and click the links and find you. So <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, uh, Kirk, for uh, jumping on with me. And we'll, we'll do uh, many more together. And I and, uh, hope everyone enjoyed listening. But thanks for uh, doing this with me. I'll see you in the next act. All right.